A new story came out about the 25 most dangerous jobs based on data from the Bureau, Bureau of Labor Statistics. Um, so I peeped these up. And the number five one was garbage collectors. You don't think about it as being that dangerous, but, you know, that truck likes to chomp. That truck will eat anything. That thing will eat a damn baby stroller. That bitch will eat an ex-wife if you, you know, if you, you know, did something wrong to her. You know, uh, so, you know, that thing doesn't really have much of a conscience on it. And it, t it also, people throw a lot of, you know, semi-bad food out in the garbage. So I'm sure you're cruising on the back of that thing. Somebody threw a batch of bad shrimp in there. And at first, if you're like me, if you're in a car, you see some food or something, you're like, oh, I'm not going to have any. But for some reason, three minutes later, I'm eating it. Doesn't matter what. It's like that Gardetto's or whatever. That shit. I hate it. You put it back by me. I look at it. I say, oh, I hate that. Three minutes later, I'm eating it. I'm eating these little midget toasts made for damn elves or whatever. I'm eating it. I'm making a little fucking sandwich and putting a little peanut between. I'm eating it. So I can imagine it's the same thing. When you're out back there, you you know, you're hiding on the back of that G truck. They always got two freaking uh, little recycle bunnies hanging off the back of that bitch. And, and you forget somebody, you know, talk, you know, somebody threw in some bad shrimp you out there. A mile later, you fucking have two of them. Next thing you know, you... You six feet under the sea, baby. That's it. Bad shrimp take anybody out, a king or a pauper. So I could really see how that is uh, the number five job that is um, unhealthy for people. The number four most toughest, uh, most dangerous job, roofers. It says right here, roofers. Um, you know, them little lid monkeys, baby. If you if that's if you want to put a top on something, they're trying to they trying to shut everything down and close everything in. If you're a roofer, uh, I remember we used to invite this one kid over to play uh, to to play at the house, and me and my buddy we would call him and invite him. He live across the street, but then we'd get up on the roof with a couple pellet guns and um, just spice him up, spice his skin up when he walked over. And he he already had this little fella had some uh, he wasn't little, but he was. He has some bone density deal going on. And uh, so part of him was little and part of him was big. You know, he was just kind of that little um, that little wobble rabbit, you know, that little shake it like a salt shit. You know, he just had that built into him. And uh, and we're still all friends and shit. It was just childhood shit. But if we didn't have a roof, that kind of shit don't happen. So I'm not shocked that roofing gets real, real dangerous overall. Number three, we have uh, derrick operators in oil and gas mining. And that doesn't surprise me that's dangerous because, I mean, natural gas, that's basically mother, that's mother nature has got a, it's just a fart that's hiding inside of mother nature. That's all it is, man. Natural gas, that's all that is, man. So you telling me, say you're laying somewhere, right? And some dude rolls up with a needle and sticks it in your body and tries to suck a damn butt puff right out of you, bro. Dude, I beat the elbows off that dude. He won't be able to hug anybody. He won't be able to hug correctly for damn 18 months. So that's all Mother Nature. Look, that's danger. If you're trying to just, you know, suck a big dirt puff right out of Mother Nature's abdomen, then you get... You get side swiped by her or whatever. I'm not surprised she's beating people's asses and, 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 and really causing hell and causing fatal accidents as fatal accidents. So that don't shock me, man. Any creep trying to suck something out of Mother Nature's gut is a real freak. I think they a real booty freak nature style. This is, uh, I can't tell if this is getting boring to me or not, but number two, uh, aircraft pilots. And it says private helicopter and aircraft pilots. And I think the, the the issue with them, why it could be dangerous, because there's not as much, with commercial pilots, there's more checks and balances. There's other pilots that they are all going to the airport with. and But private, you just call your guy, hey, I'm ready to go, you know. We're leaving in eight hours, we're leaving in three hours, we're leaving, you know. And he could be doing anything. He could be hopped up on a couple blue chews, half an eight ball, whatever. 
So now, next thing you know, he's up there. He's navigating, you know, the rich. Then that's the rich, man. If you get rich, it's, it gets risky. You know, there's a cost to be the boss, and and so that's what I think they get. They get these pilots that they're ready to go, but they could have been up to no good right before. So you get some dude up there. He's still all you know, geeked up on some of that fucking uh, on some of that nose broth, baby. You know what I'm saying? Liquid cocaine. And he's he's on damn hinge up there. He's swiping on matches. And the next thing you know, he swipes your fucking Learjet into the side of a mountain. So I think that that's the issue with that, I would imagine. And the last one here is logging workers. Logging workers, I mean, you just get a real a lot of a lot of people that are trying to stay off the grid. A lot of people. Um, and it's not really the tree you got to worry about that much because a tree only has two moves. It has, one, it has the fall and then the real most dangerous move of a tree, the roll. People don't think about that bitch. People yell timber and it falls, then it fucking rolls over nine people because they don't have a, nobody thought of another thing for after timber. That's really just ignorance. So you get that timber, but you don't get that double up on the roll. People getting damn rolled out. You know, all of a sudden, you know, fucking step ass flat and y'all poor. So it's just, you know, they don't have a good plan for that, I think, with logging. And the secondary issue is this, man. A lot of, cre a lot of just crawdad humans out there. I work with this dude, Ronnie, bro. And they call him Big Hat Ronnie. And he was a brother. And he had mental retardation. And me and him got hired, and um, I was supposed to be the boss, but he didn't understand what that meant, so, you know, and he was bigger than me anyway, and so we were both fucked. We're about, you know, we're out there doing work for my buddy Richard, who actually died, but <clears throat> we're out there, and he, this dude, bro, once they lit that saw up, they gave him that bitch, he fucking cut everything, bro. This dude cut fucking bird feeders in half, cutting fucking fences open. Didn't give a shit. He cut open a damn chain link fence, bro. This dude, man, we he he probably hit four trees in about maybe half an afternoon. This dude would cut a new fucking bathroom into your fucking kitchen. This dude didn't give a shit, bro. So, and he loved the uh, Lakers. He loved the Lakers. I remember that. And I hope he's doing well, too. And he'd walk to work. That dude would leave for work at 4.30 and get to work at fucking 7, bro. And do walk to work. Just greased out. Natural God's grease, baby. Sweat. And he just liked once that fucking gas fumes hit him. And that fucking little baby. That little. Just that spinning scissor sword, bro. He fucking cut anything. He fucking cut the damn earth open, dude. He didn't give a shit, bro. So I can see how logging is dangerous. Because the trees and then the people you're doing it with. They're fucked. Hope you enjoyed that video, and you can watch another, and you can watch this one, you can watch this one. Different options, different choices. Some guy just brings you one option, not this guy. Two options. Watch one. This one or this one.